Welcome to the Dove Sound and Power Night Sessions. What a night! I'm so excited tonight. What a night with the uh, asteroid. Hello, Anthony, made from New York, Port Chester. Anthony Cortez from Texas. Brian, who was watching the rip? Yeah, it's worth it. Watch later because it's it was uh, very 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 nice. Quasar, Pai Pai, Haya. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Okay, now it will be different. I, if the asteroid was on site, I would left the, I would leave the, the stream during my dinner, with something, some comet or something, and then come back. But uh, I felt it was like a bit like cheating because now I, it's not on site. It's in a horrible position and low in west. So it was better to, to st stop the stream and now it's uh, another, another show. We will be watching because the sky it's not super clear. It's still like it was before with some thin clouds here and there. But it's almost no wind. The, the moon is not here. The, um, the Whirlpool Galaxy is right on it's in the sweet spot. I want to capture it now because then it comes the moon again and then it goes up up and up and i want to capture that um, that galaxy the whirlpool galaxy is so beautiful also i want to test better test the flats that i took in the 12 inch of sun and now in the 8 inch so far so good because it was it was better during the asteroid i could could uh, confirm that it was the darks, the flats were working better, better than without flats. So, so far so good. We will check that in a moment in the with the whirlpool galaxy. Besides, I still have the 8-inch outside, perfectly cooled down, of course, and uh, right on on the point to to use it. Hello, them guy, Sergio. The ones that didn't watch the, um, the asteroid, watch it later because it, it was amazing. It was really amazing to watch it uh, live with you. Now, let's just open Sharp Cap. It will be with uh, the 8 inch. I have already there the, the refractor, you see here. Prepared, I, I replaced with a Virtuoso again. And next, in future live streams, when I received, because it's on, on the way from England, when I received the autofocuser, I will install it. Maybe I will do it live e for people that doesn't know how to do it. I will try to do it live with a, during the day. And then in another live stream, I have a plan to try. I don't know if it will work. It will be great, but unfortunately, the six-inch virtuoso has a small, very small and uh, jerky focuser, and uh, it tends to bend. I don't know if it can handle the weight of all my imaging train with the Sterizon and Nexus and the adapter. The adapter I have, I will connect it here instead of this spacer here. I will take the, this off because this one is uh, with, with threads. I will take this off and replace with the adapter the M48 2 nose piece one and a quarter to fit the, the Virtuoso telescope focuser. But I'm pretty sure it will bend a bit. I don't know if it will mess with the images if it bends a bit it will for sure i don't know i will try because i know some people used uh, dslrs with this telescope and it worked it depends on the weight of the camera also but the dslrs usually are heavy and uh, adding to the stars on the next show i will add this weight i don't know we'll see in the future it's another challenge to try tonight more chill we will first point to the whirlpool galaxy we will watch some community, community pictures. pictures and then we'll see what we can get 
So sharp cap first. It's a beautiful galaxy and uh, I want to grab the opportunity now that uh, that I can. I don't know if the weather will change. Then comes the moon, always something. There's always something. And I want to test the flats. I'm very curious to test it once more. To see if the vignetting goes off. Now, time to do the... Start hoping. hoping. First I will point to Arcturus to see and focus. Still on focus, perfect. Perfect. Guys, I swear you. I swear you that I didn't watch Stellarium. I remember the position of this galaxy from last year. <clears throat> and it's so easy to, to point there. It's the first time this... Let me see if it's tracking well, because I will push it a bit if it's tracking well I will do the 10 seconds it's the first time with the 8 inch and the uh, series on the next and flats being applied and flats being applied yeah I think it's tracking out well and bam. Now let's see if the vignetting appears or not. Look how bright it is. It's right on the... Let me check the position in the sky. The exact position. It's right on the sweet spot I like because higher than this at north because we are pointing near north. Higher than this will be harder to track. 
it's at uh, 54 altitude 54 it's right on I'll show you you see everything the, the Polaris is here Polaris, Polaris. here when they start they do like this around Polaris no they will do like this around they always do like this when they start to get below uh, over above uh, Polaris or near like here the the tracking is harder I don't know why So it's the perfect moment and with the stairs on the Nexus, let's adjust this. I love this galaxy. Look at the background with the flats. They are working. How many frames? Let me see. Only two seconds, two minutes. It's early. Dumb guy, I have been member for one month. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for all, to all the members. You are the best part of this journey. And you are helping a lot. A lot. You don't know how. Yes, you have. You have to watch the, the last live stream. The previous one with the asteroid, you have to see it. The beginning, at least the beginning, the first... The first moments. It has a good intro. From... Uh, my friend from LD Ship. Thank you. Yes, please give a like. I, I'm blowing the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, doing this live stream, but I don't care. I'm enjoying a lot the sky. The sky is good. It's not cold outside. Spring is here. Hey, Brian, again. <laughs> the green I appears when... Uh, because I, I do a trick to... Um, to search when I'm searching for the objects, I have the the gain all at the maximum. Here in this camera, the 294 from the ZWO, the maximum is 550. So when I search, every time I search for an object in the sky, I need to have the gain at maximum to get it well defined, not well uh, to get it more bright to watch the faint objects otherwise if I have the gain too low this kind of object these galaxies we can't see them and then I even use an additive I use a trick here in this mini histogram at the right this graphics that you you see here I click on this Thunderbolt and it will crank up the it will stretch the image so it all that all those faint objects will will pop the 10 seconds it's very hard the 10 seconds I will have to lower this to 5 I prefer to lose some actually I will clear if I can't I will do it again if I can't with the threshold I'm doing this, a threshold, I'm telling the software to, if the, the platform moves and uh, the telescope is not tracking well, the stars will be elongated, so the measure, the, wi the width of the star will be higher. So I define, I'm defining a threshold above above this threshold it will reject the frames if we capture 
an elongated star will say ok, no, I don't want this frame. So that way, hopefully, I can avoid elongated stars because I'm using 10 seconds and even like that it's hard. We'll lower a bit more to five and a half. Even like that. Clear. Because it's not windy, it's more or less stable. And it's the 8 inch. Now, now I like this, like this, you see? Now it's noisy because it's the first frame, I reset it. But when the first frame enters well and then we get a threshold here very well defined, five and a half so we want the frames to be like this but if it comes a bit of wind you see it pulls it up 545 but as I have 550 it it didn't touch the the threshold but if it, but if, if it pass the the threshold it will be rejected so it will be a bad frame that will not enter in the live stacking I'm trying to to get uh, the perfect image on the screen you see 569 rejected a, a red bar here another one see something that is not tracking well and it's rejecting it's not adding those frames to this image it's not stacking with those frames i only want the good ones or the better ones could be wind or or maybe the the equatorial platform you see now it capture one it's like that, let me see the enhancement. They have new features on the a new feature on the enhancement tab. I will wait for Sharp Cap to, um, to fix Robin to fix the, the bugs. You see? Almost no vignetting. A very faint vignetting, much more easier. It's much easier to con to To manage it, it has a bit of vignetting, even with those flats. But I think it was a good idea to reuse the flats because of the vignetting. Maybe what I will do is to do flats, different flats for the 8 inch. I will reuse in the 12 inch the same. I, I don't know, I will have to try in the 12 inch. The, the same flats that I took on the 12 inch to reuse them there. And if they work better than this, they are working fine. I may do flats to reuse to the 8 inch also. Hello Rao! Did you receive the R setup already? Astrocade! Too loco! Yes, I love this, this galaxy. It's so beautiful, I will zoom it. And you see, with the studies on an X, uh, it will start to, even with the 8 inch, it will start to, to get here, these arms of this small galaxy interacting. They are interacting. It's a, a beautiful view of interacting galaxies. Apart from the other stuff that we know, who can who can be there watching us or something like that. I think the unsharp mask is blowing the core. And now it's, it's starting the galaxy season. Let me take it off. Yeah. Without the unsharp mask, the galaxies, some galaxies, get better. And if I can get a good image now, in the, on the screen, then with just a, a push off a button with topaz denoise, it will clean all this noise. But the flats, look. Look the flats. Almost no vignetting at all, comparing to the other sessions that I do with strong vignetting here. Worth it! So the 38% of people from members of YouTube channel 
of this YouTube channel that voted in on the poll for members only that uh, will not work well they are working probably will not work if I was capturing raw frames with longer exposure if I was doing I don't know instead of 8 seconds 1 minute of exposure probably will mess more than, than what is messing right now because right now look at the background much better I just have to touch a bit here and I can get rid of everything look wonderful background Antonio Cortes with finally clear skies tonight I'm eagerly waiting to try out my filter drawer and the studies on the Nexus which I received today congratulations Antonio Cortes You will love the studies on the Nexus. Did you buy did you buy the the one without the ring at the end? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm I'm better in star hoping. And here in the live streams I'm blown with um this all these lights that I still have from the monitors everything. When I go outside if I stay there five ten minutes, would be fine to to get the dark darker up the dark adaptation of the eyes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that because of the live stream of the characteristics. I got M fifty one last night. Amazing galaxy. I think I saw it on Discord. We will see that your community pictures in a moment yes I'm using a Sterizon Nexus it's a focal reducer and comma corrector specially designed for Newtonian telescopes this is a bit more expensive but worth it worth all the, the, the money a lot hey then Daniel Hey Sergio, hey James. Have a great work, Obscurity. Brian. I almost always use 350 gain. I tried 200 for the first time last night and was surprised how good it was. There was a time that I, I tried different... Um, different game all the the games from 120 in this camera and up until 500 and to me the best gain and i use always the same i want to use always the same i don't want to be changing all the time because of the sequencer it's easier for me it's a 350 but be careful because what works for me may not work for you some it depends on your skies some people and also it not only on, on the skies but also in uh, what you are doing because i'm doing eaa for eaa usually we crank up the game to get a better image on the screen so for s only astrophotography you will want to crank down the game not using 350 be aware of that Everything has a, an explanation and an intention behind and uh, you will choose the game that work better for you. What I recommend everybody to do is do like I did and as uh, Brian Fowler did. It's trial and error. You may start by the game that I use, 350, 350 and then crank it down don't go below the um, where the dynamic range 
starts in this camera is 120, but other cameras are different. So you check that on the ZWO website or other brand website of the camera and then use from that up. Usually there are many people that use for astrophotography the gain at unity. It's in this case 120. But uh, it's like that. It depends on your skies, on your setup. Remember that. Trial and error. I'm doing here what works for me. If I crank down the gain, look how beautiful it is. You see how beautiful it is right now with only four minutes. With a bright shape, with a bright with a, a good shape, a good color. You can see the, the details of the dust in the arms. You can see the, the star clusters here, the nurseries. You can see very well here and starting to to pop here the the arms of the, the small NGC here. So all of this with 350 gains in my Bortal 5 with my kind of sky because it's not only the Bortal 5 that matters but the darkness also, the seeing. Um, I usually have uh, dust in the air. It depends on your region. So if I crank down the gain, for instance, from 350 to 200, like uh, Brian did, I will get here on the screen an image much fainter, much darker and much fainter. I did, believe me, I did loads of tests with that in my, in my sky. So I chose this one, 350 as a standard one. And then I did all of the, the darks matching that value. So I don't have to be, now it's 350, uh, now it's 300. Uh, now it's 250, now it's 470, you see? I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it simple and to have the, the less effort as possible as I can with good results. And this is a good result. This is a good result. Look at this. See? And then I clean the noise with the uh, topaz denoise. And that's it. With uh, at the minimum. Ciao Vito. Hello. Dumb guy. You shouldn't reuse the flats. You, uh, I can list an 1,000 guys telling me not to reuse the flats. And I reuse them and it's working very well. I will keep reusing. Don't follow the crowd. Trial and error. If it works for you as it's working for me. Look at this. Where's the vignetting? Almost nothing here. Look, there's, there's vignetting. But it's much softer than the usual vignetting that I have. I have, have to, uh, to make much smaller adjustments. Look, you see much smaller adjustments to control the vignetting. Better than nothing. I will not do flats every day. It's a cumbersome. I want to do and I like to do astronomy. I like to practice astronomy in a keep it simple style with uh, effortless attitude because I, I truly know myself can be different for, for you I, I know myself and I know that the more things I put as an obstacle to get my goal which is this that we are getting now an object in the sky in my eyes the more things I put in front of that in the top the more likely is that I that night I will not go outside because uh, there are some clouds and I will have all that work, all that time to prepare the stuff and to go outside. The simpler it is, the faster I go outside, the likely is that I go outside. That's why I'm always watching the sky, watching the sky. At the end, at the uh, longer term, 
it will benefit you as an astronomer or amateur astronomer because you will get much more experience you will enjoy much much more nights the sky the night sky and you at, at the end you will enjoy more astronomy rather than choosing the path of complicating stuff that's my opinion if you like to do flats every every day so if you enjoy that just do it and enjoy it's like that it's like astrophotography and those things i like like this the position of the camera is the same i marked it <laughs> They are interacting. They are interacting. Yes, we can tell that. At, in reality, no, no galaxy collides as that. Like uh, Andromeda Galaxy. That will collide with uh, our Mil Milky Way. When they join, when they merge, it's a, a better word. When they merge... The stars that you see, they will not touch each other. You see that those simulations, but there's no explosion, no, no star against the other, because the, the space between the stars and the object, the planets, everything is so huge that they can merge without... It's not like we do like this, you see? It's a galaxy dance. Yeah. They are working. I will keep using them. No matter what people say. Who cares? Improbable. Really loving your channel, sir. Just bought a 10 inch of Sonian here in Chicago. Only cloudy skies. Don't, don't, doesn't matter. It, it's, it's the tradition to buy gear or a telescope and the the clouds come quickly anyway congratulations the 10 inch is a great great opsonian some people prefer the 10 inch because of them it's not so heavy as a 12 inch, the 12 inch is heavy for some people, but it's more powerful than an 8 inch. It's a, at the middle, between the 8 inch and, and um, the 12 inch, but you get much more light, you gather much more light, much more photons with a 10 inch than the, the, the 8 inch I'm using, of course. The 8 inch is commonly preferred because by people, because it's easier to handle, it's not so sensitive to the wind, it's easier to place in a cheap equatorial platform, you can buy a, a 400 bucks equatorial platform and use the 8 inch. It's easier to place outside, everything it's easier. With a, a good image as you can see here. Seven minutes and bam. You see, I have no, almost no effort to get rid of the vignetting because of the reused flats. Astrophotography requires more um, you being more picky with those things. Not EAA. Watch the sky. It's each one of us has different ways to connect with the sky. I love visual and this. And at the end, at the end, if you if you notice, at the background of of my live streams, of my channel, of this YouTube channel, despite the goal is to, and I'm delivering that, the goal is to get you in in the live stacking, the EAA, the quick and easy, the instant gratification watching the sky beautiful beautiful objects 
loads of objects, loads of objects, without spending too much. You have to spend some, but not a huge amount of, of money. And then, to fine-tune the knowledge that I, I give you, every night doing this doing that you pay attention and then you learn the ones that don't know of course you learn how to do it easy as i do and fast and then be better than me people that better in a way not of EAA, in the way of getting better images because the goals of many people are the to have a good image and you can follow the path of some people here going through and increasing the, the level of uh, the knowledge of astrophotography processment if you like and then you can use other softwares spend time on that enter in a, another learning curve to get your goal if it's that goal to have a, a better picture no matter the, the effort and no matter the gear that you have to buy to get that because you have to you gotta have good gear and you gotta have uh, some kind of um, commitment learning the process of the post-process but behind all of that goals with my channel is another very important goal that I have here some of you noticed it already and it's so important, which is to inspire you to enjoy astronomy, to enjoy watching the sky. Not only that simple goal, technic, technical goal, of knowing the technician way to process an image or to, to go to the path of having that better image at the end. Not only that, but most important, to inspire you to love that, to enjoy that, or simply to enjoy visual, or simply to enjoy doing the live stacking that we, we do here. This is me enjoying the sky, like tonight it's been a great night, watching the asteroid, and now this, weather fine, I'm here with you, I enjoy that a lot, that gives me pleasure. And I want to inspire you, to mot motivate you all that are here and the ones that come to be positive, to learn the process and enjoy the sky. That's more important, even more important than getting the, the better picture or... Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. I love this galaxy. Feeding the other, of course. There's no collision. Well, collision is good for the news. They will collide. Be aware. It's tomorrow. Ah, that's another stuff. Astrocade. I'm lazy, so I leave my telescope outside and use the same flats for several images. If I could do that, I would do that. But I can't, I can't leave the, the telescope outside. Even, not only by security measures, or protection, or the weather, but even that I manage some kind of way to, to place it outside, I live in the, in, the, in the country. This is not really the country, in the almost but i i'm surrounded by nature i don't have buildings here houses around me it's all nature so the ones of you that live in the nature know very well what that means that means all kind of all kinds of animals all kinds of bugs spiders we have loads of spiders here and uh, i don't want to to have that that issue but if i could I do that. Ah, without a ring. It's safer, like that. It's safer. But uh, you should uh, get um, 
A parfocal ring. That's cheap. That's very cheap on Amazon. A, a parfocal ring. Actually, I have on my website, dobsonionpower.com, where I bought mine from Amazon. It's really, really great, the Nexus. Yes, they are working. Hey, Crypto. You are my favorite astronomy channel. Thank you very much, Crypto. Thank you! Thank you. I can't please, pl um, I can't please, please everybody. I can't please everybody. Not everybody likes this channel. Some like, some don't, of course. But the ones that uh, are from our community know very well that we are a different channel. We are a different channel. There's no channel like uh, ours. I'm not saying I'm better or I'm, I'm I'm worse. I'm different. This channel, the Dobsonian Power, is different from all all the astronomy channels that you see out there. Dobsonian Power. Power. Just say, the Dobsonian Power. It's unique. In a moment, we will watch your pictures. It's Saturday, and it's a great night tonight working good look I will I will zoom out again now we have 10 minutes 11 now this is cutting this is not the vignetting you can see soft vignetting soft we didn't see that with the 12 inch the original telescope but it's much easier you see I see blue I cut down the blue a bit I adjust the histogram a bit but just a bit, I don't have to be here making a, a huge effort and much better. Much better. Much better. The ones that uh, are used to these live streams know very well that usually w we have loads of vignetting. It's uh, the background, it's so, so dark, much darker. <laughs> we should not follow the crowd, we should try it first. I learned that at the beginning. Everybody said to me about the Dobson and uh, that uh, I will not do nothing with the Dobson, apart from visual. I will do nothing with a focal reducer in a Dobsonian. And I manage the way to do that and more stuff. It's easy because I don't need, I can zoom it. I have the advantage. He's asking about using the focal reducer for the, this target that is small. Look what happened doing yeah, uh, live stacking with um, with an equatorial platform here down here you see all this below this it's being cut it because of the drift I have to increase the speed now not only that but I'm working not at f6 which is the native focal ratio of this telescope F6 and using this focal reducer which is 75 I'm working at 4.5 which means I'm using a faster telescope using this faster telescope these 8 seconds that I'm using are the equivalent or much more seconds of exposure of exposure time and the quality of this focal reducer from studies on the Nexus also makes everything much sharper. You can do it two, in two ways. You can do this if you are doing what I am, live, uh, live stacking for 
streaming, I prefer to do this, it's simpler. But you can also use this at the right, this region of interest. We have the region of interest. You can lower the capture area and the camera will only work with this area but without losing any resolution. So it has loads of advantages. Be aware that this works very, very, very well for all objects except planets, the moon, some planetary nebulae that requires a longer focal length. Then we want the opposite, we want to use a Barlow. If it works, it works, that's it. But even that, that doesn't mean that I'm telling you that uh, you should do the same, dumb guy. Because probably for you it will not work. For many reasons, possible reasons. But what I recommend all of you to do, always, especially people that are beginners, no, don't follow the crowd. Actually, in all this, in all life, in the real life, no, don't ever follow the crowd. The crowd is not to follow. Thank you, Jello Man, for your super chat. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you. Thank you, Tiago. Thank, thank you for continuing to push the envelope. That's it. And thank you for continuing to defy common wisdom. What you are doing is nothing short of revolutionary. I hope so. Thank you for your words, for your support and for your motivation that you sometimes may not figure it but you also m motivate me. That's a, a two ways, two ways um, benefit. And your support, these kinds of uh, super chats here and there and uh, super thanks and buying from the affiliates, which is free for you from the dobsonempower.com affiliate links from Amazon, etc being a member, all of that together, allow this business, because this is a business, don't get wrong, this, all of YouTubers are a business, all of YouTubers above 1000 subscribers are winning money, and to, to get the ball rolling, you have to work, and to work, to make people happy, you have to work, to help people, you have to work, and to work, you have to eat, and you have to be sustainable, so, that's the way to think, the positive way. Sometimes people think uh, that YouTubers is to place videos without doing nothing and, uh, and grab the money. No. There are exceptions for everything. But the, the way is that. The way to go, all the YouTubers, is to, to have a sustainable business working to help the others. At least I talk by myself. And you see, the, I bet the most part of the people that voted on the YouTube channel members, the positive, yes, the flats will work, or maybe you, they will work, people that think mm, usually don't work. Well, but maybe you can do some magic with it. With it. Okay, I will, I will vote maybe. Maybe you can make the, the flats work. I bet the people that vote on those two positive voting on the poll were people like Brian, like Mazif, like uh, Quasar, like uh, Ray. But I hope, I also hope that 
the new people that come, that get that attitude that you have, that feeling, that positive feeling, to move forward. And what we are applying here, that positiveness and that motivation that you get from this channel, at the end will reflect, like a reflector, will reflect to your life, to your real life. It's like a, a snowball, a positive snowball. Believe me. Because I know that the people, we are all different and there's people that I know that they stuck on negativeness and it's very hard to, to get out of those spaces. And this will, it's like um, a way to protect you your soul and to get you stronger in the adversities of the life yeah it's common it's like it's like um, Jalloman said it's like Jalloman said it's common wisdom common sense I'm using the ZWO294. I'm using this telescope. I should place the ticker. This telescope, the 8 inch top sonnet telescope, a classic telescope, over this equatorial platform with the ZWO294 camera. Attached to the camera, I have the Bader Neodymium Moon and Sky Glow filter, which is a very soft light pollution filter with infrared cut and ultraviolet and also the Serizona Nexus this is the setup that works for me the better Serizona Nexus is the, the great comma corrector and focal reducer from Serizona all of these, this Serizona came from my AstroArt Finland sponsor I shouldn't forget that it's also a great support of this channel and don't forget they are on they are on um, offers they have a 10% discount they have a 10% discount in things like um, the Virtuoso which I have here my recommendation for all the beginners to avoid spending much money this is a now it's at 449 with 10 percent so we will avoid to spend a lot of a lot of money right at the at the start then you buy a camera later you don't need to buy right now you can use the smartphone just to get in touch you can use the eyepieces that can it comes to with two eyepieces with a collimator you don't need anything else as is you can use it well i recommend because the it has batteries it's power supplied by batteries the regular aa or aaa batteries but i recommend you to buy or to use straight away or, or a power bank or an ups like i have in my website topsonempower.com you can watch it there all the links of my gear because it saves it saves money because it's rechargeable the um, rechargeable the UPS and it works night after night after night loads of nights in a row so this is the way to go and then you see if you what you like because beginners at the beginning don't know very well usually what they want it they want more visual I may want to take some pictures but I, I'm not sure because I never did it Something happened here. I think it's the platform. Yeah, it's the platform. Hold on, because it's drifting now. Hold on.
Okay. So let's process this image. The quick astrophotography that I always do. And I like. Because I just go to the Sharka folder. And we renamed it to Whirlpool. 3D18 inch. Flux test. I open it with a topaz denoise. <coughs> which link also is at my site dobsonandpower.com low light selected low light algorithm and remove noise one no sharpness i don't want sharpness you see this noise here i will show you because here we, we can see very well if we zoom it will cut all this noise. You see the, the grainy background here? And you see now? It messes a bit with the stars if they are not... If they are a bit elongated. But... If you zoom out, you don't... Uh, you see? Now I will cut it. First I will save. If you, you use this at the, low, the lowest value, at 1, it will remove all the noise without adding artifacts. If you crank up too much, it will add artifacts from the AI. Progress bar, processing. And that's it. Close this and that's the image here. We open with a free software, Photoshop Express. Okay, we cut it, we crop it. We will crop it here because of the drift that I have. I was not cautious with that. Like this. And like this to center here. And, and now we can play. I don't like to overexpose, uh, uh, to overexpose, to over saturate, to it's just a bit of. I do like this to see the difference and then I just use a bit or nothing and you see that will be what's this shadows No, we don't want that. The whites, I can't crank up the whites because of the core. Nothing. The blacks, we don't want this. You see the, here this part of the galaxy, the small one. The color, we go to saturation just a bit. Because if you crank too much, look at this, it's fake. You just went like, just a bit to enhance. And then I use, because I used already the, um, the noise, I use the color noise here, sometimes. In this case, it's not needed. I leave it like this. I save it. Whirlpool. 51. 18 inch. And then tomorrow. I upload it. <laughs> I upload it. 
It's beautiful. Where is it? You see, with a quick astrophotography, it's what we get. With another galaxy here, we still can see here a small galaxy with 8 inch power. And our. This is beautiful. This galaxy is really, really beautiful. When the. the when you capture this galaxy and the small one gets like it looks like gold here and these arms here start to to pop it's when you know that it was a good capture because all the rest will be sharp enough you see the details the star cluster you can distinguish the star the nurseries this blue dots together loads of loads of uh, stars loads loads of stars that's it curtis that's it you know the difference but uh, often people get confused yes and they mm, they stick with that those astrophotography rules but i think also in astrophotography you can break some rules you don't need to follow the crowd what's happening is that as astrophotography requires uh, or it has a larger learning curve and people needs to put more effort and time to learn it they tend to of course learn for, from tutorials and other stuff or courses or something and then they stick with that information which is uh, many information they stick with that and they don't want to to get off the road they have fear if they go off the road and they don't do as they s they learned they will fail but there's nothing as doing trial and error precisely with shorter exposure which is another characteristic of EAA And then it's not it's so keep it simple. You saw. I I know at the end I was seeing that the um, the speed of the platform had to be adjusted. It was at the wrong speed for this place out, uh, at the sky. But as it is EAA, as it is a live stacking, it doesn't matter. I I let it go. You don't need to be so picky. It's for it's not for everybody, of course. Still are missing some likes. Likes, please. Thank you, Quasar. Magnificent. I am very happy to join your community. I have enjoyed astronomy since very young. Now at 52. Oh, I have 51. I decided to dive and learn more. I will I will make 52 at the day John Dobson was born. <laughs> if John Bo Dobson, John Bo if John Dobson were, were uh, if John Dobson was alive now, we'll be celebrating at the same day as I'm celebrating. Well, nothing to celebrate uh, actually. After 50, it all goes. It all goes down. <laughs> Well, not all. The experiences... The experiences are fulfilling. The soul. Hello, Scott. Greetings to Canada. Thank you, Sergio. 
I'm using the Bader Neodymium filter. Bader Neodymium filter. The lowest filter is this. Infrared and ultraviolet. This it's to cut infrared. It it's in my opinion needed for this kind of cameras that doesn't have the the infrared cut built in. But if you have some soft light pollution as I have and at my Bortal 5. This one is a softer one. Then after this one, there's a very good one. It's the um, Optalong L Pro. It's a broadband filter, very, very recommended. For visual also, not only for imaging, as a broadband filter for all the, the, the objects. And for the ones that just joined, we are streaming from here. Planet Earth. Continent, Europe, country, Portugal, region, Algarve, 37, latitude, Bortal 5. Hey Brian, I'm glad to know that. When I first got my dub, I didn't even know what EAA was. That was a year and a half ago. Then I found this channel and the rest is history. Thanks Tiago and thank you for being here. And remember that this channel, these live streams are all also for people that just don't want to do neither EAA, neither astrophotography or nothing just want to enjoy the sky and you have here a space where you can watch the sky with us in real time objects you can recommend objects suggest that I don't mind if I can if I can sometimes I I follow your suggestions and go to that object those objects an object that you are willing to know how it is and maybe one day in the future you can buy a telescope or you want to buy a telescope but till then you can look back then you can look back after some years and say I was enjoying the sky all these years you don't need anything to enjoy the sky just your eyes So, now we will watch your pictures. When I had sharpness, it gets more sharp. <laughs> it gets sharper, but sometimes if you... Well, uh, if you're talking about the topaz noise, it can have... It can have artifacts, so I don't want to... To use it, but sometimes it don't. Sometimes it doesn't have. It's time for... Where are they? Community, Community pictures. pictures! Now, if you want to participate in the Community Pictures, you can join Discord. I will place the link at the chat. Join us, it's free, it's a great server. All the community is there. And you can post there. Okay, it's in the chat. As you can see, a general forum. You can sp talk about anything. And then you have here, you can uh, place your gear here also. Oh, this is my astro gear. Here, your telescopes. You see? Beautiful telescope. 
It's it's here. It's obscurity. It's a new member here. This is my first telescope. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> An 18 star sense explorer dub. Very nice. You can place here the post here your your setup, and then you can go here to the community pictures. Because this is not a contest, I remember you. This is to enjoy, to compare, but in a way of joy. To understand what other setups do. In case you want to buy a telescope or you don't know a telescope. And I was here, okay. So Astrotiv. Three hours on M106. Lots of noise, says. And the first try at guiding a bit of mess with a Skywatcher 130 PDS and a 533 camera. You see, I don't guide, but Astro TV is trying another path, and that's fine. Where is it? And that's fine. This is... I'm not sure the galaxy. Yeah, this was noise, of course. Probably these bands, probably mm, sometimes are clouds uh, that we can see or dew at a mirror. Usually, Madzif with the whale galaxy and. The Okay Stick Galaxy. Mazif loves to um, to do astrophotography also. A beautiful combination, these two galaxies. Very nice. Another one with a 10 inch Newtonian. The M101. Beautiful with all these clusters here, the hot stars. Speedy Mark, good pictures for all papers. <laughs> Linux Astro, Flaming Star Nebula with a reflector telescope. <laughs> Good detail here at the core. Very nice, very nice, very nice. You you post beautiful pictures always. And Adam with a 10 inch dob and my camera 294. Well, mine no equal to mine. Only 170 seconds. You had a problem here, some artifact here at the left. And here, at the right, weird. But the galaxy, it's here. Very nice, very nice. Mazif, a reprocessment with more exposures. And he got more detail. Even more than the previous one, which is beautiful. This one is beautiful. And, uh, this is me talking about that. And Jonathan, bad weather, but dodging the clouds managed to get M51. The one that we are watching. With clouds it's harder, but it's there. 
it's there. In a good dark sky we can see this visually. Or like this. We can see it uh, at my portal 5 I can. I can see it. Ray! The M101 also. Beautiful. With this 9.25 Edge HD. And the Running Man. With the same setup. And a different filter. Oops. I will see it, Curtis. I think I, I remember to see that. Ray again with the Sunflower Galaxy. Beautiful, I love this galaxy. Ray, don't crank up the, the topaz. Too much. Try it like I, I do at one. Flaming Star Tadpoles with a William Optics Z61. Madzif. Beautiful. A larger field of view. Wider. A wider field of view. M3 Cluster Astro Cave. Actually, it's very nice. Look. Beautiful. Yes, rightish. You can participate also here. Just post there and I pull them. I pull them all. Not in every streams, but almost all and cropped here okay it's beautiful this this picture love wi when the clusters pop like this on the camera and ray with a cluster sing was not all as good but you manage anyway, Ray. Very nice. And here the International Space Station from Wilaf. ESS and the Tiangyong. With a camera C uh, 462 and a 6 inch daub and track it at F8. Optalong. Ultraviolet and infrared cut filter. Very nice. Well done, well done. This one. Like this. It's very hard to, to capture this. I'm lazy enough not to do it. <laughs> if it happens that uh, it will pass wh while I'm doing something. I may do it one day. And this one from Jonathan again. Loads of dew, he said. NGC 3628, M30, 30, M53, Sunflower, Light Pollution and Dew. Yeah, it looks like like pollution, this gradient here. It happens to me sometimes. When it's, this gradient appears, usually it's like pollution. The other day was happening, look, this is clear. Was happening, but I didn't figure it from where. And the pillars of creation from Willaf. Also very nice. We will be watching soon. 
and the Whirlpool Galaxy. Astrocade, Silistron G CGE and the Skywatcher 200 PDS, camera ZWO 071. Beautiful. There we go. Bam. You see the gold here. It's like gold. I love this galaxy. On fire. Madzif. The monkey head nebula. Yes, gentlemen, Wilaf doesn't have any tracking at all. No, no, Ritis. It's no race here. There's no race here. I, we have some pictures here from iPhones and eyepieces and something like that. Participating will will get you on the will improve or increase your willing to do to do more. Adam, 10-inch tops an equatorial platform and the 294. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. A bit less of blue would be perfect. And here it is, the cluster. Very nice. Is it the needle? Bit of gradient from light pollution. The Sombrero Galaxy, which I love. We will be watching it. The um, Black Sai. Galaxy, it's also beautiful. The antenna, two galaxies interacting. Very hard to get the, um, the legs here, the antenna. And another one. You see, look, an example. Ritish Karalius. Are you from Greece? Are you from Greece? You see the example, Danis. I came to my parents' ranch and I took a picture of M81 and M82 with an 8 inch dobby. You can see here by this picture that it was with an eyepiece, you see. But I'm sure in the father, in the parents' ranch, he was having so much fun and I'm sure the parents enjoyed to watch that that happiness ray another one very nice the whirlpool very nice gold with the edge spiral galaxy m94 again and track it six inch dog and play a one Player 1 Mars C camera without tracking again we laugh and the Crab Nebula and the Whale Galaxy of course without tracking it's much harder you can't get so much detail but you can still have fun until you get the tracking and Madzif 18 Newtonian with a whirlpool Mazif like saturation here the gold again the finger slide and here it is Adam M100 and accidentally catch it planetoid Tiflis recorded more or less two hours of its movement as we did with the asteroid to tonight see here 
Interesting, very interesting, very nice. Scorpio, I intend on only shooting M66 and M65, but it drifts, so I stack the entire Leo triplet as a mosaic. I bit out of focus. No, but the, the mosaic look, you can see. Well, if you like to do mosaics. But it it's visible that is a mosaic. The trick with the mosaics, the people that does the mosaics, it's to make it looks like uh, not a mosaic. It it's hard. Scorpio Galaxy Group Xan 44 at the neck of Leo Constellation. 10 inch dog. Very nice. And here with the uh, annotations. M27 Dumbbell and track it 6 inch dog again. Again without tracking. Excellent. Oxize with Evolux 62 ED, the first light, and drum the galaxies. And drum the galaxy, our neighbor, in Bartol 4 from Netherlands. Brian Fowler. Oh, this looks so much as the one that we captured tonight. Been a while since I got to image. Man, I miss this. M51 and NGC 3618 with NGC 3729. 12 inch Dobsonian and a 294 MC color. I love these colors. Very, very similar to the one that we took tonight. You see, when we have thin clouds, we tend to have more orangish. I have more orangish in the, um, especially at the north. What's that? Here. Very nice. Beautiful. The Rosette. Large Nebula. With Astrocade. With 8 inch Newtonian. This is beautiful. With the 8 inch. Loads of detail. Keep it simple, of course. Hi Martin, greetings to California! I hope you are having an awesome weekend, all of you. It's starting only. It's only starting. Relativist. M100 and series. This was done for the AA object of the month. Oh, Curtis, I forgot that you have the the nickname of the um, Cloudy Knights. M100 and series for the AA object of the month by a community astronomy group in Placer, California. This is NGC 4729 and Make Make passing by. You can see... Uh, okay. You can see here... Will it work? Ah, it's here. The dwarf planet Make Make. Oh, it's working now. You see? It's moving here. 
Different days. Make make. Beautiful work. California. Martin's neighbor. And this was with the... What was the telescope, Curtis? Oh, you didn't place here. It was the 12 inch. You didn't post it. And Astrocade with a Leo triplet, a nice one here. Well captured. The hamburger and the other ones. This one with very nice detail. so much more and Jonathan all nebula M87 and a bit of Markarian chain then the clouds appear the all nebula a bit of Markarian chain and M87 So you can join us on Discord. I will leave more for the, um, the next live stream. Thank you very much. It was a great, great start of the weekend with the asteroid and now this. I'll see you in the next clear skies night. I don't know when, but we'll keep in touch. Join us on Discord and subscribe to this channel for more to be in touch. Thank you. Awesome, equa uh, awesome 